NASA discovers water on the moon. And you might be thinking, what the hell, Jack? We know that already. We know that the great celestial lunar rock that orbits our pale blue dot already shows geological evidence of ancient water molecules deep within its shadowy surface, posing more questions than there are answers. But it seems that now, after arduous research by the fine men and women over at NASA, we know what causes it and what causes it. Kind of. You also might be thinking, what the hell are you doing here again, Jack? I thought this was a one-time thing. We didn't expect you to be rearing your strangely shaped head over here once again. And my reply would be, yeah, I know. But NASA just kind of discovered water on the moon, guys. And I just had to tell you about it. What's going on, guys? And once again, welcome back to Inform Overload, the place where the fast, fervent information of the internet finds itself relaxing over a nice cold pint of knowledge beer. That is a terrible analogy, but yeah, welcome back. Now, if you didn't quite get the message from my previous IO, if you'd like to see more of me, make sure to go and check out Top 5 Scary Videos to enrich your own inner compendium of all things horror fiction and fandom, because that's what we do over there, and we're pretty damn good at it, actually. Okay, now, according to NASA, their latest probe research expedition to the moon has revealed some pretty insightful data, giving scientists a crucial opportunity to enrich their understanding of the history of lunar water and improve their comprehension of the moon's geological past. Because let's face it, the moon's been a bit of a mystery for quite a while, right? We should sort it out. On Monday, NASA released the data that was collected by the Space Agency's Lunar Atmosphere and Dust Environment Explorer, otherwise known as Laddie. And if you're asking me, that's one step closer to getting ourselves a fully fledged Wally. Sweet for thought. Now, this useful little robot fella had been hurtling around the moon's orbit since October 2013, gathering vital information about the moon's exosphere by extrapolating its molecular data, keeping an eye out for things like hydrogen and oxygen and any other chemical compounds of interest. What it found was that when our moon passed through the rotational trajectory of a meteoroid stream getting hit by hundreds of tiny pieces of space rock, the lunar body released a cascade of water containing both H2O, water, and HO, otherwise known as hydroxide. Strangely, once the meteoroid event was over, both the H2O and HO disappeared, signifying that the event was indeed releasing built up chemical compounds deep within the moon's surface. Now, it definitely poses more questions than it does reveal answers, but the evidence is pretty clear cut. There's still water somewhere deep within the moon's surface, albeit hidden deep down within its lunar barrels, and also incredibly, incredibly tiny amounts. As Dana Hurley, the second author of the research paper from John Hopkins University said, we know that some of the water must be coming from the moon because the mass of water being released is greater than the water mass within the meteoroids coming in. Now this is only going to spur on the eternal debate that surround the murky origins of water being on the moon, but you've got to admit it, it's pretty damn cool nonetheless, isn't it? And it's another clue toward figuring out the mysteries of that dry and dusty landscape, because the goal is, once we've figured out just what the hell is going on with the geology of our nearest lunar satellite, we can fire a few space expeditions up there, build some lunar shelters, and start planning our next step in exploring the great mysteries of our universe. Hopefully, anyway. Ah. Isn't science great? Well, there we have it, guys. Just a flying visit, but what the hell? I'll always be on call for anything regarding space. What do you guys think? Are you more water on the moon? So what? Or more water on the moon? That is awesome. Let us know your thoughts down in the comment section down below, but only say something about potatoes if they're space potatoes, okay? That's Charlotte's territory. Before we depart, let's take a quick look at some of your more entertaining comments from over the past few days. Lass Ellie says, I eat potatoes. Does that make me a cannibal? Yo, I said no potatoes. But also, yes, that makes you a cannibal. Probably. Well, on that strangely specific note, that's all we've got time for in today's video. Again, if you'd like to see more of me, make sure to head over to Top 5 Scary Videos and come say hello, because that'd be nice. If you're a fan of this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, as well as that subscribe bell. And Charlotte, Johnny, and or Rebecca will be seeing you in the next one. As per usual, I've been your host, Jack Finch. You've been watching Inform Overload. Until next time, you take it easy.